Welcome to my channel. This is DIY with Jeannie, and I am Jeannie, and we got boxes today. Very exciting. We have been doing a lot of sewing, and so I was looking at subscription boxes and boxes that you could order, and I love Let's Make Art. It's got some really, really interesting boxes, but there were a couple of previous release boxes, which are what these are, that I saw and it was something I really wanted to try. And I am a bullet journal girl. That is, I really enjoy my bullet journal. And these are art journals. And I really wanted to do art journaling and my brain knows how to do art journaling, but I was, I'm kind of afraid to do it. So we, We'll be looking at these two boxes today, and then on the next one, just like with the sewing, we open the box and then we do the, the activity. Um, next time, we'll do something from the box. I'm kind of very excited about it. So the two boxes I got are, thanks for opening, I can't get it open. see the tape on the side. It's beautifully clear. Probably because it was in another box. So, here's our first box. It's with a little card. And this is a friendly reminder. Set aside. Ah, this is a friendly reminder and I think this is a good thing. To set aside your to-do list to play, dabble, and paint. So, um, I really like that idea. I like the uh, the thought of make sure every day you take a little time to do something that brings you joy. Uh, I started getting rid of things in my house that no longer brought me joy, and that's bringing me joy to have that less stuff. But this is something that I really wanted to try. So this one is Once Upon a Fairy Tale, and let's see what else in here. Let's move our shreds away. I will keep them because I will use them again in a gift bag. It's the kind of girl I am. I want to recycle gold, which once if you order anything from me, you will find that out because I will recycle a box to send out stuff that's mine because I don't see a reason to keep making more boxes when we all have enough. things that are going out this week in the mail, but I'm using mailers from the post office, the one price. So let's just pop everything out of here and we're going to keep the box. Spoiler alert, you're good at this. Don't you love that? You're good at this. See, I have, I have my students, they go, I, I just can't miss, I can't do art. And I'm like, yeah, you can. You really, really can. And it makes, it's important. It's important to just be free to be you. Art is subjective. Other people may not like it, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Now, they sent us some prompt cards to um, journal with because we have our little traveler's notebook for mixed media. So it gave us some, in, some stuff to prompt for us to write or do art with. Just take a look at them. So all of the cards. So this prompt, whether you've been making art for a while, or a uh, prompt, a letter from your fairy art mother. So write a letter to yourself from your fairy art mother. Uh, mirror, mirror, let's rewrite the fairy tale of the fairest of them all. Instead of focusing on outer beauty, how can we reflect on your beauty in words and represent who you are, not just what you look like? I love that. We all get enough of, you're not pretty enough, you're not whatever. Now, this is technique cards. So, framing, how to frame your artwork, frame your dreams, is one of the techniques that are in here. So, that's what that looks like. Um, mirror collage. So, 
So you put a little mirror down and you collage the words on it and pop-up letter. So that would be like a letter from your fairy art mother. We could do a pop-up letter where it's part of the thing and you unfold it out. I like that. And they gave us the templates to use. Yay! Some beautiful art for our collage. Like using scrap of paper or even beautiful tissue paper is good for this kind of thing. We've got some colored paper. We've got a page with our fairy art mother, our follow your dreams. They know where you need to go. Um, follow your dreams. They know the way uh, you are devoted. Just a whole bunch of words that we can use. And there's our outlines that we can use. And here is our journal. And I have paints and markers, and I think we all do. We have an abundance of that kind of thing. So here is our mixed media traveler's notebook. Mixed media paper is just, I don't know if it's so much thicker. If I can get it open, I'll tell you. It's the Carpe Diem brand, which are really good. Yeah, it's thicker paper, but it's so you can watercolor on it and glue stuff to it and use stamps on it. And so it's like cardstock, maybe even a little heavier. You could make your own journal using, um, well, where are you going, babe? using um, watercolor paper that you buy in the big big books and so you can make you a little one. So that is our first one. That's the Fairy Art Mother. The Once Upon a Time box. This one is called Wabi Sabi. I'm kind of excited about it. Wabi Sabi is, is very eclectic and it's very much the way I am. And what that means is, see, and it still tells us we're good at this. We got this. Wabi Sabi means there's there's really no rules. You just randomly throw stuff together. So here's our card for Wabi Sabi and what all we have inside. The idea of Wabi Sabi celebrates the weather, the imperfect, honors impermanence. Uh, this month we'll explore, we'll explore prompts to dig deep into those ideas. The supplies included will help you. And it would go well with this box as well. Oh, crud, I forgot our bag. This is our bag. This is our bag from the Once Upon a Time. Ooh, we've got some goodies. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. It is called Stickles. Oh, we're going to have fun with that. Glitter is, is like one of my favorite things, and yet... Once you open glitter of any kind, even in a, a fluid, whew, you got glitter. Acrylic paint sand. Acrylic paint sky. Acrylic paint black. And yes, paste. Well, we got some. That is interesting looking. Anyway, so that was our first box. I completely forgot about the bag. So we'll put the bag over there. Ooh, we can even use the bag. We'll paint on that too. Yes, ma'am. So now, our second, let's make art, is the Wabi Sabi. Let's do all of this. Our shreds in the box so that I can use them later. A bag for that. There's just not going to be enough room here. So let me get everything out of this box and we'll add it to that box and it'll be fun. I have another mixed media notebook. And more paper. Yay! So let's move that out of the way. So get rid of the box. If I get rid of it, I mean, I'm just going to put it somewhere else because you know I'm not going to throw it away. With shreds everywhere. Let's get them out of the way. Okay, so um, there's a wabi sabi. All right, so we have our another journal. We've already seen that first journal, so we'll just set this aside. Here are the prompts 
for our Wabi Sabi. And they are, and I gotta read the whole prompt, weathered, impermanence, ah, when we're considering the idea of impermanence, what do you, when you think of a tree during different seasons, what comes to mind? And can you find the beauty in each season because of its transitory nature? So that's kind of interesting. And then this one is imperfect. And I love imperfect. Um, we were talking about that, my husband and I, recently. You know, give me broken. And I'm good with that. It's the same way I like to upcycle things. Give me something that nobody else wants. And let me see what I can do with it. So that's kind of, kind of my thing. This one is Wabi Sabi, which is like collaging. So there is that one. Um, this one is more drawing on impermanence. And this one is imperfect texture. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the idea of it, you know, being random around it and then a beautiful thing in the middle. So that is fun. Oh, cards to send. And then here is our paper. Oh, this is really nice. I have some more paper that will go with this for a while, too. Let's take a look. We have the three words, impermanence, imperfect, and weathered. And we have weathered keys and keys that look fine, newsprint, picture out in the thing, out in the flowers. Um, I might try to find a picture of my own I use. That would be kind of fun. Some rust look, paint, or even weathered denim. And then here are some pieces that you can cut apart. And that is exciting to me. I cannot wait. Let's see what's what we got in this one. We got white gesso, which will leave a really nice texture. We got apricot. Oh, that'll be really pretty with that uh, sand. Variations on it. We got a pencil. Oh, a charcoal pencil. I love these. It's a softer lead. Those are beautiful. We oh fuchsia. Yes, please. To be not a very girly girl. I am a pretty girly girl. Uh oh. I'll grab that in a minute. Marine, that's going to be beautiful, especially with that sky blue as well. Cheddar, that looks like fake cheese, which is kind of funny. And here's the last thing. I dropped it under my chair. And the last thing is more of that paste. I'm, I'm excited about this paste. I can't wait to see what this does. So again, we have another bag that we can paint on and do with as we wish which is going to be very exciting. This one was not a very long video. Let's take a look before I put all of this away. I would like to see how this paints on here. So we'll get our little mixed media journal out. So we have uh, looked at our little journal, looked at our stuff, I already started playing and next time we will put together maybe one of the pots we'll see what that what happens or um, maybe I'll come up with a better idea something that let's let's work on this and see how this goes but I really like the way the paper is and I'm really enjoy I think I'm gonna really enjoy this so let's make art um, you really can't do it I promise I wouldn't lie uh, not about this. I think art is too important to lie about. So get something you're happy with, do something you're comfortable with, but even if you're not comfortable with it, just do something. It's going to be fun. You can't go wrong. I promise. Till next time, DIY with Jeannie. Can't wait to see you again.